After finishing our round of Galaxy S10 teardowns, we decided to take a peek at the newly released Galaxy Buds. From a repair standpoint, how do these compare to the AirPods? Getting into the Galaxy Buds was way easier than opening the AirPods. All it took was a spudger, some careful prying to get around the light adhesive, and a Phillips screwdriver. When we opened up the AirPods, on the other hand, our primary tools were a razor blade, a Dremel, and tons of heat. Probably the coolest thing is that the batteries are relatively easy to access. The Buds use coin cell batteries that aren't exactly commonplace, but they can be found online, meaning that swapping out a battery down the line is definitely a possibility. This also means that when it's time for these Buds to be recycled, recyclers can easily remove the batteries to dispose of them safely. When it comes to battery capacity, the Galaxy Buds have twice the capacity that the AirPods do. That's 200 milliwatt hours for the Galaxy Buds and 93 milliwatt hours for the AirPods. Getting into the Galaxy Buds charging case was just as easy as the Buds themselves. It is held together with clips and screws and houses an extra 1.03 watt hours of battery power, which is actually a little smaller than the AirPods 1.52 watt hour case battery. Considering how easily these Galaxy Buds came apart, we're giving them a 6 out of 10 on a repairability scale. Here's why. On the upside, the external assemblies are all held together with clips instead of glue, making for a mostly non-destructive entry process. Disassembly can be accomplished with common prying tools and a Phillips screwdriver. The earbuds use coin cell batteries that are relatively easy to find online for future replacement. The charging case battery is easier to replace, but will most likely be more difficult to source. Adhesive is used to keep many of the internal components together, though it is not excessive and can be reused for reassembly. On the downside, after opening, careful prying is required to separate some adhered components without tearing fragile cables. And lastly, some cables in the charging case are soldered directly to the motherboard instead of utilizing contact pads or board connectors. Overall, we were really impressed with these new Galaxy Buds, especially compared to Apple's AirPods. We wish the earbuds were a little easier to open without chewing up the plastic casing, and the batteries could definitely be easier to access. This is a huge step in the right direction for this category though, and we hope other companies are paying attention.